to attend. Stipulates that to take part in. Unfortunately, the woman uh, who nominated won't participate in that. Uh, technically, that means Toshio uh, is unopposed. Uh, the other thing to note is that uh, a long time SIG here uh, has. Uh, sorry, I was going to be—I was going to say promoted, but I'm not sure that that's the right the word. Um, Jessica has become a member of the executive council, and so has decided not to run uh, for the NIRC co-chair. Uh, but we did get another candidate, and I actually haven't met um, Sen. Is Sen in the room? Nice to meet you. Uh, as the, as the new candidate, two candidates, AJ. Uh, has um, agreed to continue, um, and everyone knows Toshio as well. Would you be able to make a short statement in support of your, uh, a, a brief introduction, perhaps? You can, if you can just. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Zhen Yu from Cynic. I'm IP operation manager, responsible for IP service, membership development, and uh, conference and, uh, and the training program. During the last four years, I, ha I have been working on improving member service level by optimizing, uh, members of, by optimizing the process business and uh, adding new service and uh, uh, organizing IPv, IPv6 training to CNIC member. Through my efforts, through my efforts, the IP conference conference ha, has been more active as a well-known platform for information exchange and uh, experience sharing and uh, project cooperation among local operators. ISPs and uh, uh, and uh, uh, local operator ISPs and uh, relevant uh, corporations in China. So, sorry, a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so uh, I also work on the IPv6, IPv6 upgrade of upgrade domain name system project to help ISPs with upgrading. And before I joined the CNIC, I have worked. I had worked for the uh, well-known uh, well vendor and uh, IPv6 uh, solution provider in China for more than 10 years. Involved the uh, many IPv6 related event and project. So uh, I'd, like, I'd like to take uh, advantage of my advance, my experience uh, in, uh, in, in my experience in, I, in IP operations as well as event and uh, projects um, and uh, serve NIR community as a co-chair to enhance the experience exchange and uh, cooperation among NIRs. So I hope I had the chance. Thank you for your support. Thank you very much, Sen. Now, I'm a little unsure how to proceed here. We've got uh, one, uh, effectively one nominee for chair and two co-chairs. So rather than actually have a kind of show of hands and, and count, I would like to possibly accept all three nominees as elected. But there's one thing I have to do first is to check whether the chair once elected, would have two co-chairs. I hope everyone's following me. So I'm just trying to follow procedure here. Um, so 
can I, um, r rather than elect a chair, can, can uh, we accept Toshio's nomination for chair with a round of applause? Would you like to appoint two co-chairs? Yeah, I accept the two co-chairs. Excellent. Thank you, Thank you very much. <laughs> so I'd um, like to announce that we have two new co-chairs. If you could um, join us up here, that would be great. <laughs> I mentioned before that, um, sorry, please join us. Uh, thank you very much for your, all of your support in the past four years. Uh, although I will not be the co-chair of this seat from now on, but uh, I, uh, I will still in the uh, APNE community and uh, will also and will uh, meet you at APNE conference. So <laughs> actually there's And up to your new update uh, from the NIR. We have a seven uh, presentation. So the uh, please use uh, your presentation uh, ten minutes maximum. And unique update, also they are presented by Sam. following areas, membership, uh, the IP address and the uh, S member location, and uh, a new IP conference uh, with uh, technical training. First, the internet development in China. CNIC released the 36th uh, statistical report on internet development in China on July 2015. The report Penetration rate of 48 <laughs> Thank you. 
mobile phone main terminal to access internet. And on our memory. SP and IDC, the second internet content providers, the third, the corporations and the institutions, the third inclu including governments, departments, schools and uh, factories and so Look at the changing in the res respective period. You can see that ISP, IDC, and uh, I, I, and uh, ICP are always the mainstream groups of requesting and using IP address. At the same time, the corporations and the institu institutions have been expanding their share, especially in the last four years. The, the third period, we see an uh, obvious increase of cooperation and uh, institutions we come to, who come to request their own IP address to the development of their internet business. Uh, let's have a look at the IPv4 allocation. By the end of the uh, August, CINIC has allocated more than 317,000 slash 24 IPv4 address to its members. IPv6 allocation. CINIC has allocated more than 6,700 slash 32 IPv4, IPv6 blocks, and here, I, I'd like to share a large IPv6 allocation case with you. By the end of 2014, China Highway Magic has been more than 140,000 kilometers. Due to the lack of public IPv4 address, the current highway intelligent information system uses private IPv4 address, which seriously rest restricts the development of information construction of the highway. So in order to adapt to the rapid development and the requirements of the information construction of China Highway, Ministry of Transport leads uh, IPv6 transformation of the national highway information system. The, the highway information system is composed of the monitoring system, the toll system, the ETC system, and the emergency broadcast system. Each system multiplexes the highway optical fiber network, but independent of the each other in business logic and uh, IP address planning. Finally, we allocated a slash 24 IPv6 address to research institute of highway ministry of transport to support, to support this project. Uh, let's have a look at the growth of members with IP V4 address versus those with IPv6. As shown in the graph, we experience a uh, very fast membership uh, growth with IPv IPv4 address since 2011. When the, IPv, uh, when the IPv4 depletion occurred in the APNIC region, 
quite a number of new ones are coming for the last IPv4 address. In terms of IPv6, there is also a fast growth. And uh, we have been making a lot of efforts to encourage our members to request and test IPv6. And next, the S allocation. CINIC has allocated more than 800 S numbers. We provide two byte and four byte S numbers to our members. Here, we'd like to learn and exchange four byte S distribution and uh, deployment experience with you. CINIC annual IP conference are held to deliver up-to-date up IP allocation status and trends, as well as the development of IP-related new technology to CINIC members and the wide China community. Uh, this year, the conference uh, was held on 19th August in Dalian. More than 200 representatives, which came from APNIC, telecom operators, research, institutions, APNIC members, and CINIC members attended the meeting. This year's present presentation included IP address management, IPv6 adoption, internet cloud service, and network security. Guangliang presented an uh, update on global IP address allocation, including the status of IPv4 transfers among the IRS. APNIC Executive Council member Ma Yan also uh, participated, presenting an overview of internet uh, governance and uh, the IANA stewardship transition. Uh, following the annual conference, ICANN's Champik and APNIC's Guangliang conducted training on IPv6, DNS, and uh, security uh, from 20 to 21 August to around 50 uh, attendees who were very interested in the IPv6. The training was uh, very successful. So thanks for Champik and Guangliang's hard work. To evaluate the training effort, uh, if effect and uh, collecting training demands, CINIC conducted a survey after the training. I'd like to share the survey result with you. The survey covers industry of the, of the attendees, training set satisfaction, favorite sections, advice to improve the cost, future interest, and uh, so on. From study, most of the attendees came from IDC and SP. It's a good sign that they keep eyes on IPv6. Almost all the attendees were satisfied with the trainer and uh, the course. Uh, the, the attendees also gave some advice to the training, such as training in Chinese, provide Chinese training materials, provide uh, hands-on practice increase the case, case study, and uh, reduce the basic content, and so on. Regarding the scheduling, most of, most of the attendees thought two or three days training and uh, one or two times a year is suitable for them. And uh, we said, we set score one to five to measure how much the organization is interested in this topic. Score five means the most interest. The chart in the lower right show, shows the average score. Network security, routing, IPv6, and DNS is, is the most favorite topic. From the survey, 65% of the respondents are willing to participate in the fee-based training. 68% of respondents think that 
the training course would be more popular if the examination-based certification is introduced. So we hope to continue our training cooperation with APNIC in the future. Uh, that's all I want to share with you today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for a detailed presentation. I would like to invite our next speaker from KRNIC for their NIR update. Mr. Billy. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Oh, my name is Sang Yeon Gang of Kisa KRLI. Oh, nice to meet you all. Oh, I'll present a oh, KRLI update for you. Oh, first, uh, IP and AS number management. Uh, as of August 15th, KRLI called approximately uh, 112 million of IPv4 address uh, and 5200 of IPv6 address. And we are located a total of uh, uh, 53,000 of IPv4 address uh, from APNIC in, in this year. Uh, and Oh, yes. Uh, next thing is uh, AS number, uh, AS number management. Uh, KL, uh, in this year, KLE called about 1,019 1, of AS number, for each part uh, 905 of 2 byte ASN and 114 of uh, four byte ASN, but uh, we uh, we assigned only uh, eight hundred of two byte two byte ASN, and four byte ASN is not assigned yet. Uh, next is KRLink members members status. Uh, KRLink members composed composed of. Uh, ISPs, independent IP users, and AS number <coughs> users. Uh, and ISP, uh, uh, in detail, uh, 19.5 ISPs and 154 independent IP users, and rest, uh, 689 AS number users. Recently, uh, some Korean ISPs has merged, so the number of ISPs are declined. Uh, next thing is KLX uh, IP and AS number policies. Uh, for KLX, uh, for location of IP, the user have uh, facilities accessible to the internet and they should be, should be a member of KRLIC, uh, for example, from an ISP or an independent IP user or uh, they have an uh, AS number. And next, for AS number assignment, they, they should be multi-homed multi and they have a unique, unique routing policy. Last, uh, IP and AS number transfer only, uh, 
allowed only between caring members in this Korea and in, uh, in Korea. So, uh, caring activities. Caring provide. Caring provide caring who is such now, but some data are incorrect. But that so we planning to the check and update for 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 his database with APNIC DB matching. And. Next, next year, we are going to cooperate with ISPs for updating reassignments or information of IPs. So this is, uh, and next, next this thing is RPKI. Uh, we've been developing RPKI model in this year, and also we will uh, test next year test RPKI system and launch trial RPKI service in 2019. Tentative schedule. This, this, thing, this is more about her, for my presentation and some, someone has a question? Kang, we will be taking question answer after the session, after the each and IR presentation, then we will take the question answer. So next I would like to invite uh, our next speaker from India, my home country, the new NIR, Mr. Dr. Govind. Good afternoon, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I'd like to thank Chair uh, Toshio Tachibana and our new co-chairs, Mr. Ajay Kumar and Mr. Chow from China. They are an outgoing co-chair, Jessica Shen, that who has contributed a lot towards the NIR system in, in this uh, NIR forum. So to begin with, I will give a brief of our IRIN update, IRIN activities, affiliate growth, affiliate status, IPv4 delegation, IPv6 delegation, and events we conducted in IPv6 areas. So we are primarily, activities are to manage and distribution of IPv4, and IPv6, and AS numbers. And the other activities are the coordination with global policy makers, organizing programs towards internet resource knowledge proliferation in the country, organizing technical training, organi organize local open policy meetings with the, our affiliates and other ISP members to carry forward Indian stakeholder views to the regional and global open policy forums. So this is a brief uh, depiction of the, our, our growth from November 12 to August 15. And the year by year growth you can see is coming from the, you know, quite in the 770, 79, the last year to 1198, a growth of uh, more than 400 affiliates added into the system. Next, please. So this is the resource-wise affiliate status. I, we have 1,007 affiliates have taken IPv4, and 191 affiliates have taken IPv4, as well as IPv6, and three affiliates have taken IPv6. So the low, uh, we are encouraging our affiliates in the country and other entities to take more and more IPv6 addresses. Presently, the banks and universities are approaching more for IPv6 and other type of entities are taking the ISPs and the other entities taking only the IPv4 addresses. So this is the bar chart kind of thing, the delegated our 637-24 IPv4 blocks since inception. We have allocated up to 31st August, the total of these many slash 24, uh, which is amounts to uh, 256 blocks for each kind of thing. Next, please. This is again the IPv6 delegation distribution, year by year, November 12, 2013, 2014. 
and to August 16, the, how the IPv6 blocks slash 32 and slash 48 has been allocated. So these are some of the events which we hosted in the workshop of DNS, DNSSEC with APNIC in Mumbai uh, in April this year, where we talked about more on the DNS, the security systems with ISPs and the telcos and the other uh, members of the com internet community. Co-hosted SANOC 26 in Mumbai with ISPI. Participated in IPv6 workshops conducted by ARNET. We have participated almost 50 IPv6 workshops in different states hosted by DOT, which, is, which has come out with a uh, road plan for the IPv6 and IPv6 migration policies in the country. And we have planning our annual open uh, meeting in November. We had last meeting in last year, so this year we would be hosting it in November with the affiliates to know the views and interact with them to know how the things are moving. Thank you. This is our, uh, in the brief, giving the snapshots of what our activities and things are. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for detailed discussion. Now I would like to invite uh, next speaker from TW Nick for their update. everyone, uh, I'm Jin Han Gu from TWNIC. Uh, today's presentation is about uh, TWNIC update. Uh, outline is uh, including the statistics uh, of TWNIC's IP members. Uh, second one is the TWNIC's activities and the training programs uh, in 2015. And the uh, third one is the status of IPv6 uh, upgrade of uh, governmental network services uh, in Taiwan. The final is uh, conclusions and the future works. And this slide shows the statistics of uh, TWNIC IP members. Uh, there are uh, 62 TWNIC uh, LIR. Uh, we categorize the eight uh, service types, include uh, collocation and uh, fiber to the home, ADSL cable modem, wireless LAN, uh, WiMAX uh, 3G, uh, uh, 3.5G, and uh, 4G. And uh, using the uh, catalyze, we can see the, how many uh, TDAM members uh, uh, have different kinds of uh, services. So uh, most uh, services are uh, located on the co-location and IDC. Well, there are uh, 21 uh, services are uh, FTTX. And uh, uh, 14 members uh, have the uh, cable modem services. And uh, besides, uh, there are five uh, members have the uh, 4G services uh, in Taiwan. And this slide uh, shows the uh, IPv4 address uh, allocations. The TWNIC uh, has allocated uh, 131,000 stage 24 uh, IPv4 addresses. And uh, the number of the small allocations are grows uh, after the final stage A stage. And this slide, uh, uh, this slide shows the IPv6 uh, address allocations. Uh, TWNIC uh, has allocated uh, 2,344 uh, stage 32 IPv6 addresses. The after final stage A policies, uh, many members apply IPv6 addresses. Currently, more than 50% TWNIC IP members have obtained IPv6 addresses. And this slide shows that uh, we, uh, since the 2001, uh, TWNIC released Taiwan Internet Connectivity uh, broadband uh, broad, uh, bandwidth uh, every quarter. 
Uh, this survey was conducted by 40, uh, 84 ISPs in TWNIC's bandwidth uh, registration system. Uh, currently, the total bandwidth of uh, inter international connectivity connections from Taiwan uh, reached uh, 1,436 uh, gigabit. Uh, and we also uh, provide uh, every ISP bandwidth of uh, international connectivity uh, connection and the domestic uh, ISP uh, connection. Uh, you can uh, query the ISP bandwidth by flash and uh, show all of these ISPs connect connective bandwidth. Uh, the uh, URL is map.tw.net.tw. Uh, in the uh, activity of TWNIC, uh, the 24th uh, TWNIC IP Open Policy Meeting uh, is held uh, on June 10 and uh, 11. Uh, the keynote uh, speech is uh, NTT Communications efforts into IPv6. We invite the CEO of NTT Taiwan to have uh, this speech. The uh, rest of the session uh, topics in this meeting include the uh, IPv6 uh, Internet of Things and the uh, 4G IPv6 applications, uh, big data in telecommunication and the uh, TWNAC. Uh. So there are more than 15 uh, speakers and uh, 180 uh, attendees in, uh, to attend this meeting. And the detailed agenda uh, can visit opn.tw.tw uh, stage 24 uh, as shown in the slide. And uh, we have a TW IPv6 training program uh, this year. Uh, the, the period time uh, of training is uh, between May uh, to August. Uh, in this uh, Year's uh, training program, uh, we have some uh, difference. Uh, the original, ori original uh, program's uh, introduction program and the hands on program. Uh, we create a MOOCs online program this year. And uh, we use the online program to introduce the IPv6 technology and the IPv6 management and the security. And, uh, IoT infrastructure and the applications. And, uh, we uh, have uh, held uh, 33 uh, courses uh, this year, and uh, there are more than 5,000 attendees uh, uh, in uh, this uh, programs. And this slide shows the IPv6 uh, upgrade of the external network services. And there are 4,065 uh, network services of governmental agencies need to be totally upgraded to IPv6 uh, in the end of uh, this year. Uh, till August, uh, uh, there are 4,567, uh, it's 97.9% uh, percentage services has been complete. Uh, we also monitor the IPv6 uh, reachable ratio of these services uh, every day. So uh, currently, 94.9% uh, of services are re reachable by IPv6. Uh, the uh, slide can show the trend of the IPv6 the, uh, upgrade. And the uh, uh, conclusion and the future works. Uh, all uh, government's uh, external network services will be upgraded to IPv6 uh, in this year. Uh, we hope to promote IPv6 upgrade uh, of ISP's SS services in the future. And in the IPv6 promotion, we will continually take the IPv6 training courses, uh, IPv6 virtual lab, and IPv6 activities uh, this year. Uh, we also will hold the uh, uh, 2015 Global IPv6 Summit uh, in Taiwan on December 8 
to today. But and uh, we welcome uh, all of you uh, to share your experience uh, in this IPVC summit in Taiwan. Uh, it's all my presentation. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for this, whatever the work you have done in your and I are sharing with our community. Now, our next speaker is from Japanese, Mr. Tari. talk about the policy part in this presentation. I will talk about three, th three things, uh, but one of them will from Izumi. Resource statistics. Um, we have uh, no big changes on For S numbers, uh, one, two, two, uh, S numbers are allocated, uh, assigned per month. So no big changes in Japan. We have about 700 assignment uh, of S number in Japan. <laughs> For transfer, uh, we have 182 uh, transfers Japan or uh, from Japan to outside of Japan, especially for Aryan region, we had the first transfer from uh, JP region, right? Uh, the details about the transfer, uh, he, he will answer about that, uh, Kawata san. Our member in Japan has uh, but four hundred and and we have the historical IP address holders in Japan. They are about 2,000. So uh, the all members will be uh, 2,000 for uh, about 500, 500 I, I think. Policy editor. Izumi? This is Izumi Akutani, and let me just uh, quickly cover on the policy-related area. Um, on JP policy meeting? Okay. Um, so we actually held a meeting um, in June this year, and it was chaired by Toshio over here. Um, and so we actually, it was basically an um, informational session, and we didn't really have a policy proposal. So um, one thing to highlight is that we always uh, up to give update on the APNIC meetings, what was discussed, and another thing that we're doing is uh, improving on the support for our community on the V4 transfer. So we're do, uh, considering something similar to um, APNIC's uh, transfer listing service. And um, so that's basically it. And we did cover the INS ship uh, transition. Um, and, um, but we actually do ha have other areas um, in addition to the number of resources um, that's covering the policy. So we also uh, keep track of what's going on in the names area, uh, so attending the ICANN forum, as well as we have started to focus on the wider internet governance area. So we do have um, a net, like um, community for each of these areas within Japan. So for the number of resources, we have a JP Nick Open Policy Meeting. For ICANN, we actually uh, update our community on what's happening in the names area. And we have also uh, launched the um, Internet <coughs> Governance Conference Japan, which I will cover a little bit uh, more into details later. Um, and we actually observed that um, a lot of the things that's happening globally 
it's really not being shared uh, within Japan. So the volume of discussions and information that's being shared um, globally and within Japan is like so different. So that's why we actually felt that, um, next slide please, um, we have launched um, this conference within Japan um, in June 2014 to uh, provide a platform for discussions or, or for our community. So at the beginning, we're focusing a lot on informational update to make sure our community is keeping track of major discussions points on this arena. Uh, so topics covered would be um, discussions in like really big conferences such as IGF, IT Planipot, um, there was a conference in Wuch uh, Wuchan, so this was also covered, and um, a global cybersecurity conference in Haag. So these are the kind of major events that we make sure we update our community, because these are very important uh, um, key events in this arena. And uh, I'm just going to list a few examples of specific topics that we've covered, which is net neutrality, copyright legislation within Japan, Security, it's a very big, broad area, but uh, we actually set up a team to develop a document on common principles and policies and things like this. And of course, IANA stewardship transition continues to be a big topic, topic for us. So we had an opportunity for um, Teresa Weinhardt from ICANN to come to our meeting and give an update. Next slide, please. And then on the IANA stewardship transition, we felt that um, this is something good for JPNIC to be able to introduce because this is related to the number of resources, we have expertise, and this is actually really relevant to the wider internet community because it really touches on the critical internet resources for the internet. And, but at the same time, as you all know, that um, the comment period for this combined proposal is open until tomorrow, I think 8th of, uh, uh, well, tomorrow our time, so 8th of September, UTC 2359. But many in our community is a bit shy to, you know, make a submission individually, uh, directly to the ICG, and also the, the proposal is 190 something pages long, and it's very technical. So we tried to pick on something very common that broadly can be agreed by uh, the wide community members. That is a common spirit that um, the internet, uh, internet has developed uh, based on the spirit of open, inclusive, and bottom-up uh, process and mechanism. And then uh, we support the transition from this aspect. So we are actually calling for individuals to sign this common um, statement that we are submitting as a Japanese community. So it's easier for them to express their opinion. Um, next slide, please. And then the challenges that we're facing is that, uh, so we do try to cover comprehensive major subjects, but then how far in depth do we go in each of the subject? For example, security on its own is really a deep subject. Um, and another thing is um, trying to encourage our community to be able to express their opinion outside Japan. And this is something that we're still working on and the INS stewardship transition is more like a test case uh, within our community. So thanks and hand over to Taiji. Thank you, Izumi. The last part is the technical part. We have two uh, things for report. One is the NSEC for reverse zone. We are working on developing uh, reverse DNSSEC. Uh, and we have the two types of IP address, so we need to build a long system. And we will uh, launch the service uh, November this year. And we are developing a new user interface interfaces for registering DS record, which is used by the NSX service. And the new service will serve for both uh, IP address types. One is a Phoenix shared pool, another is a Phoenix delegated pool. The, for a Phoenix shared pool, uh, we need to pass the DS record for a Phoenix zone. So uh, our system will pass the, basically pass the record uh, before passing, we need to check out. For JPNIC delegated pool, uh, we'll do a signature. This is a signature uh, on uh, a zone, uh, 
Monday, Monday is the fly safety day. And the member can handle uh, their own zone in, in a data sec. And the second one is the RPKI. We are serving uh, three types of IP RPK system on uh, RPK service. One is testbed for newcomers and a new code uh, released from rpki.net code, open source software. Uh, and the pi pilot service is launched in March this year in the Fukuoka previous IPNIC meeting. And the third one is used f uh, easy use of RPKI. For easy use of RPKI, we provide a public RPKS service Multifi uh, is the largest, uh, one of the largest IS IXP in Japan. And we're preparing the how to document <coughs> in the web. Well. It's uh, version is uh, getting up uh, along with the support, RPK support in uh, PGP routers. Uh, there are uh, mis-originated routes in uh, Japan, which is observed by using JPRRR. Uh, so we often discuss on the how to uh, handle the mis-origin. Some, some operators called BGP hijack uh, for uh, using, by using RPKI, then we can manage the different way from uh, use of IRR uh, previously. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Taji, for technical update regarding the RPKI, reverse DNS, uh, and Thank you, Jimmy, for sharing the detail of uh, IG work which you are doing. Our next speaker is from IDENIC. Hi, my name is Benjamin Naibaho. I am from IDNIC, Indonesian Network Information Center. Uh, currently, uh, IDNIC is uh, uh, handled by APGI, Asosiasi Penelenggara Jasa Internet Indonesia. And uh, we will uh, present about uh, IP versi, uh, version 6 uh, update uh, until uh, now, uh, what is progress, what we, uh, we are doing until now, what the handicap, and uh, what the next update that we want to do. Okay, currently uh, we handle uh, three parts of uh, uh, classification of customer. One is uh, ISP, is the operator, ISP and NP, and one is, uh, uh, academ uh, is uh, uh, academic from uh, education, and also from uh, the last one is for, for corporate association and government. And uh, most of uh, uh, the users for IP36 is still uh, ISP, it's about 140. And the uh, second one is government, and the last one is education. And this is the uh, distribution of uh, uh, per year, uh, uh, how, how, how many uh, cap, uh, uh, block capacity that already used by our uh, users. Uh, in 2011, we give uh, free, uh, free services, or uh, free uh, 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 use uh, blocks for all members. So that's why it's up about uh, for, uh, one, one, one million. And for 2012, it's uh, up also until uh, two millions. And uh, the last one in 2015, <laughs> it's about uh, 786. So currently, there are about uh, seven million uh, uh, block capacity that's already uh, used by our uh, users. And uh, this is uh, the table uh, of our position uh, in 2013. Uh, Indonesia still in uh, number uh, uh, number 19 for IP 6 allocation. 
So uh, what uh, we are doing uh, uh, to implement our services until now, we do like simple form uh, to give fast response for any users uh, who need uh, the API allocation uh, for IPv6. We do also a free for request for any uh, party that needs the uh, allocation, and we use also uh, we also support the, uh, any critical infrastructure who need uh, IPv6. And our uh, activity for the regular uh, hostmaster is uh, doing like uh, IP, create IPv6 uh, routes object and also create uh, IPv6 reverse DNS. We work together with a country code top level domain which handled by Pandi, Pengelola Nama Domain Indonesia uh, for uh, IPv6 implementation. And also we do like IPv6 uh, IIX peering Indonesia Internet Exchange peering. Uh, in cyber building, and the last one is uh, we do some uh, advertise for IPv6 uh, uh, support to our upstream, to the upstream which needs by each uh, com company. And for implementation of IPv6, uh, uh, we also uh, uh, support, we also uh, help uh, some party who need uh, like uh, implement to the content to the news portal like sdetik.com until now. And uh, we also support large operators uh, like uh, uh, mobile operators, Telkomsel, also the uh, uh, terrestrial operator like TV Telkom, Indosat, Excel, and everything. And many company and institution like education would need uh, some uh, help from us. We also implement for local network. And uh, we also in 2010, uh, we make uh, like a, a meeting in Bali uh, for uh, doing a IP versus six uh, community meeting. Uh, at that time, it's open by our uh, minister, uh, Pak Tifatul Sembiring, and uh, at that time we do like IP versus six task force, uh, by, uh, which also uh, support by government and our stakeholders. We do also like IPv6 mailing list uh, at that uh, in this, uh, this is the uh, facility for us uh, to get uh, some information or to get some uh, comments from uh, the users. And uh, like any other uh, uh, country, this is the problem that we uh, get until now. We have, there are many uh, members uh, that the device is not compatible with IP versus 6 those so that's why we do like a dual stack for this one and not uh, many content provider uh, wants to go to implement IP versus 6 uh, it is said that uh, they said that uh, we don't want to be alone in a big uh, uh, IP versus 4 still IP versus 4 community means uh, it's very <coughs> difficult uh, uh, from uh, them if they do uh, like IPv6. Even we have to do some uh, socialization, we do some uh, <coughs> presentation and education for IPv6, but we still have uh, some uh, handicap for this one. Uh, this is like what I said before, we do like IPv6 <coughs> uh, summit in 2010 in Bali. Uh, it's all opened by our minister. Uh, we try to uh, get uh, some support from any other uh, stakeholders and we do also uh, like uh, some uh, 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 education and, and uh, some training we in any other uh, cities uh, outside Jakarta like in Bali in Yogyakarta in Semarang and in Medan and any other cities that's all our updates until now if you have any uh, questions we will do after this meeting Thank you very much for presenting the IPv6 update from your NIR. Our last speaker for NIR update is from VNE. So may I invite VNE speaker?
Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my presentation today. I'm uh, going to talk to you about the uh, Phoenix Architect. Uh, about my presentation, there are, there are five, uh, five main um, five content regarding to the uh, Venice uh, 15 any anniversary and about uh, Venice uh, with the just for the just for NAR of Vietnam and and also we uh, would like to uh, I would like to talk to you about the uh, IVV six uh, activity and another uh, topic uh, is a cover of uh, currency uh, activity and another the last uh, content I would uh, would like to talk to you about the upcoming activity regarding to the VNIC. Uh, and the first, um, as you know, in uh, in 2015, we uh, we have uh, um, 15 years. We found in 20 uh, uh, 2000, yeah, 2000, and uh, we are very happy with um, uh, the. This uh, year we also uh, uh, have a uh, 50 years, and also we received the label order second class from. Uh, uh, Vietnam, uh, Vietnam um, government, and uh, another, and I would like to uh, um, introduce you about various with not only NIF of um, NIF of uh, ethnic community. We also take care of the dot vn cctld and another national internet directory of Vietnam. Uh, we also we take care of IS of uh, Vietnam and. Uh, uh, of course, we are also uh, responsible for uh, for most IPv6 in Vietnam, and uh, it's the more, most. Uh, it's the my point is the um, my presentation regarding to the new uh, uh, new director general. Uh, as you know, uh, um, from um, from April 2015, Mr. Chen Mingtan, yeah, who we uh, who uh, who have been become um, director general of Venice. Yeah. And um, uh, uh, look back to uh, Venice uh, with the NIR of Vietnam. Uh, we, uh, I, I would like to uh, update to you about the policy. And uh, in next, um, uh, next month, the uh, the uh, the circular number twenty four, twenty four, rather right about the management internet choices in Vietnam, uh, will be uh, uh, we take up first. Um, and uh, regarding to the policy, I would like to know about the policy regarding to uh, uh, IPv four transfer. Uh, as you know, uh, Vietnam and also uh, uh, Vietnam uh, allowed uh, transfer from outside to. Uh, Vietnam and the uh, policy will be uh, uh, soon at first in next month. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can see the chart regarding to the uh, IPv4 address in Vietnam. Um, also, um, as you know from the 2011 uh, with the policy uh, in uh, IPv4 resource, uh, um, uh, IPv4 is out, so uh, the, uh, the, uh, the number of IPv4 address in Vietnam is the most uh, um, raised fast, this is uh, a lot, uh, a little bit faster and in Korea. Uh, uh, however, when we, um, uh, this year, we also um, accept the policy regarding to the um, recover through from uh, Anna to Avnis. So we assess the uh, we uh, accept uh, our member to uh, take uh, IVV4 from the through. So you can see the chart uh, um, dressed. Yeah, the dressed color yeah, is the, the through we uh, received from the Nana. One o three, yeah, the recover, recover full. And about uh, our member, our member from Vietnam, we uh, agree very fast. So uh, this, um, yeah, up to now we have uh, more than uh, 
to hundred member. And is the also the um, SCVG related to the village uh, member. We has the opening member meeting. Uh, usually we are held uh, at um, uh, we are in um, July. Uh, yeah, July every uh, year. Um, uh, this year we has the uh, we had held in Hanu City and uh, with a two card two uh, conference in Ho Chi Minh and Dana City with. Um, uh, more than on other people, I, uh, the main topic is uh, distribution of return IPv4 address policy and another IPv6 um, policy and activity. And we are very thank you for the update and sharing with us uh, from APNIC uh, uh, and the APNIC. Uh, about the IPv6 activities, uh, this year we are focused on uh, IPv6 activity. Uh, not only uh, 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 we not only are uh, uh, learning from another country, but also we are uh, focused on training and working uh, with uh, enterprises. And uh, three main uh, activity about IPv6 uh, Vietnam IPv6 Day. That is the uh, yeah, the conference is the, the second. Uh, anniversary event in Vietnam uh, with more than uh, 100 people take uh, part in the event and uh, if you need to um, uh, uh, as you know the topic main topic uh, this year we are focused on IPv6 application for mobile broadband yeah if you know um, if you would like to know more detail about the uh, uh, events you can uh, go to the website yeah And uh, is, is, uh, this is uh, one of the main uh, point of the activity related to uh, IPv6 deployment in Vietnam. Uh, Vietnam IPv6 uh, task force work uh, with um, seven enterprise uh, for mobile ISP and content field. Yeah. And uh, after the uh, working with uh, other uh, with um, seven enterprise, and we are very happy to uh, know the mobile network or uh, two biggest, uh, two, uh, two biggest uh, company regarding to uh, uh, mobile support uh, IP6 and uh, have a plan uh, already for transition from 3G to uh, 4G. And uh, about content, we uh, they also uh, would have a plan for transfer IPv4 to IPv6, yeah, uh, not, it's that been transition from IPv4 to IPv6. And about ISP, almost ISP uh, support IPv6, uh, but also we uh, they do not deploy IPv6 on uh, end users. So um, you can see in the, um, uh, on the, in the internet, not so much um, see Vietnam on the uh, uh, internet. Uh, it has used to uh, using IPv6, but uh, it's a good news that uh, ABC Telecom is uh, have a been good at deployment with um, uh, with 90,000 90, customers using IPv6, and we hope that in the at the end of this year we uh, has uh, the uh, the number increase to uh, more than um, <coughs> to uh, 200,000 people using IPv6. And uh, one of the main, um, main points we uh, would like to uh, in, uh, deploy but IPv6 in Vietnam, we take care and we, uh, we think uh, training is very important. So we, uh, uh, we also have basic uh, training not only, uh, not only uh, for managers, but also we uh, have a small training course to the uh, uh, technical team. And I, another Vinic uh, also uh, has a DDS workshop. Yeah. About cooperation activity, we are very happy to uh, um, to have the MOU with Kisa from uh, uh, Kara. Yeah. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, after uh, we uh, uh, Kisa and Vinic had. Uh, MOU, we uh, Im 
improve our relationship uh, in the internet area. Yeah. And about upcoming activity is the IB6 development activity is the main uh, point we are focused on this year. So, uh, um, so uh, in the uh, in the final word uh, of this year, we uh, have planned to uh, learn IB6 experience in the advanced country. Yeah, as you know, it's the the usually an IPV IB6 activity of uh, Vietnam IPV6 task force. That another uh, uh, upcoming activity is a uh, report on uh, uh, Internet Justice 2015. Yeah. And uh, um, then Ernest, uh, we will have, uh, we will have uh, IB Vietnam IBB6 Day in the next, uh, yeah, in next year. And uh, of course, we uh, will have the uh, Open member meeting in uh, July 2016, and as the uh, IBC activity will uh, also the, uh, the activity will uh, focus in the future. And uh, thank you for your time. I would like to request Mr. Sanjay from APNIC. Thank you, Chairs. Um, I won't be long. I'm just uh, giving you an update on the, the upcoming AP NIC 2016 survey. So I only have uh, three slides. One second. So uh, as you know, AP NIC runs a survey every two years. Uh, sent to all members and uh, stakeholders uh, in that community in this region. And we're going to do one, another one. Uh, the, the next one is going to happen uh, in 2016. So I just want to remind you what it is about. Uh, and then the tentative schedule. And also uh, what do we expect to uh, uh, coordinate with the NIRs, particularly on how to make this uh, a success. <coughs> so similar to the previous survey, it's going to be an online survey. So we have a, a wide reach uh, throughout the region and even we would invite people from outside of region to, to provide feedback about APNIC uh, performance, about issues that they're facing on deploying uh, internet networks, uh, issues they're seeing in the IPv4 address space, IPv6, CS number, anything that relates to uh, the internet infrastructure. Uh, and before the online survey, as usual, we're going to go to the cities, to some cities. I think the last time we, we went to like 16 different cities in, in different sub-regions uh, to meet with a focus group, uh, which will then, based on that, that uh, discussion, helps us in, in designing and uh, creating the, uh, the questionnaire, the online questionnaire. Timeline will look like this. Uh, next month in October, we, we, we would like to be in contact with all the NIRs, getting their input about what issues should be discussed, uh, what issues can be uh, asked, uh, and, and themes. Uh, and then in November, uh, the APNIC EC will receive all the feedback from community, including the NIRs, and then set for next year's survey what themes and issues should be covered. We, we cannot cover too many issues because, other, because the, the survey will become too, too long. We don't want that. So we really want to focus on thick issues that is really uh, topical. Uh, and then we announced the survey at Epicot 2016 in Auckland uh, in March. And then March, April, we'll do the focus group. Uh, April, we'll design the online survey based on the focus group discussions. And then May 2016, we run the online survey. June to August, we get people to analyze the survey. And then we should be able to provide you with a report at the APNIC uh, 42 in Dhaka. 
what do we need uh, from NIRs? Uh, obviously, we, we, there's a lot that we can do with the, the NIRs here. Uh, how we can involve your members to participate in the survey and, and, and help us with the issues and themes that we need to ask in the survey. Uh, opportunities to translate the survey to, to, to the uh, language, to different languages. Um, uh, your input itself to the survey themes and, and, and issues. Um, coordination with NIR to, to promote the survey when it goes out uh, in uh, May. And then uh, help us to report back to, the, to your community uh, after we get the result. <coughs> so basically that, that's the, the kind of co cooperation we, we would love to have uh, with, from, from you. Thank you. Question. Hi, uh, my name is Ning Kong. I work uh, for Cynic. So uh, we, th we both think the survey work is very interesting and is very meaningful. So as for the translation work, I think if possible, Cynic would like to volunteer to translate the survey document into Chinese. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. <laughs> Do I get a volunteer from Korea to translate <laughs> to Korean and Vietnam as well. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll talk some more. It's still a, a few months to go, but uh, I, I really am counting on you all to help us with this survey. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sanjaya, for discussing in advance what you are going to do in the survey. And thanks to all participants who have shown interest in our community, what an IR community is doing. So we will be inviting question answers. So any questions from any presenter? Hi, can I ask you? Not, not the question, but the comment to this, this session. It's OK? Yeah. Uh, my name is Tomohiro Fujisaki, working for NTT Japan, and also an um, APNIC NRO NC member. And thank you so much for the all presenters and chair and co-chairs to organize this wonderful session. And I have one proposal. And I think all presentations were very informative and very useful. And I think not, all presentations are not to limit it to the uh, NIR matters. And so I, it's better to make this session more public, not the NIRC format. And currently, we have the uh, global report session in every evening meeting. And I think this session will run the similar format like the uh, regional economy report session to involve the more attendees. This is only one, just a proposal, but please consider about that. Uh, thank you for the comment. For the, uh, uh, this uh, session, uh, the uh, charter is uh, uh, exchanging information and uh, experience uh, uh, sharing. Uh, between the uh, each NIRs, I think. But uh, uh, we all NIR community's activity shows to the public is uh, important, I think. So the, we uh, will be, we, are, uh, we as a, uh, myself and the co-chairs, uh, will discuss about the, uh, considering about the format of this session uh, in near future. Okay. Yeah, I would like to add the this session is public. Every information is available to public. Any participant who, who want to attend, they can attend. It depends on the interest of the participants. Mm -hmm. it, and the NIR, which they are doing. They are doing the IP delegation as well as the other works. So as a community and uh, as a chair, we have decided that 
we need the presentation from each NIR, whatever they are doing, they should report to community. That's all. Is you do you have Yes, uh, I just have like a related suggestion on this topic. It was actually an idea that I suggested uh, earlier, but I think at that point, maybe people felt that uh, people would like to uh, keep the format of the SIG. And so without really changing, you know, the current situation too much, perhaps maybe we can make it like a, a um, I don't know, like a, a continuing session after the global report or something. So like after the global report, you know, maybe NIR SIG will follow up. So it would give the participants a sense of continuation. It might make it like easier for people to, okay, maybe after hearing the RIRs, we, we want to like stay in and listen to the NIR. So that's just like one idea for suggestion. Thank you, Jimmy. We will discuss with the Secretariat for deciding the agenda, time, etc. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm Ajay Kumar. I'm NRONC and also from India. I just wanted to kind of take that point which was raised by Mr. Tomi Haro further. I think, first of all, you know, I must uh, thank and compliment all the speakers uh, for making excellent presentations. But I think uh, we can also look at, because a lot of issues that are there, are of great relevance to a larger set of community, and we should see how we could actually have greater participation of this community going forward. I think uh, we would also be useful to have, see how the various NIRs can work with each other. I think this is one area where we have not seen, uh, you know, much of discussion so far. And one of the things which this SIG could consider is whether there is room for cooperation and collaboration. Uh, one another suggestion which I was uh, which I was wanting to for the SIG to consider is uh, a lot of we always say that uh, you know a lot of development of internet and IPv6 uh, is going to come from Asia Pacific in the future. Uh, Paul mentioned it today also in the morning. Uh, we need to see what special efforts NIR can play to actually realize this uh, very important goal. And in that context, uh, one of the things which the SIG could possibly uh, examine is, today there is a premium of uh, uh, you know, $190 which is taken on the location of IPv4, and is there a room for reducing that so that a lot of these developing countries who find it difficult to propagate and proliferate the number of IPVs addresses in their uh, economies can take better advantage of it. I think we should look at various strategies that can help actually this region take up the whole issue of greater proliferation of the internet. Thank you very much. Um, I can remind you JP Nick. Uh, as a personal opinion, um, that's the every opinion uh, which was uh, raised is very uh, interesting. And my my own comment is the yes for the uh, in conjunction with the, the relation with the global report. I I I think the global report is go you know the looking outside and uh, if we do looking inside, I direct uh, I I direct to have the the countries. Uh, con countries without NIR, then <laughs> that's that's totally di di different different taste of the the session to uh, you know have a deep look at uh, each countries which uh, within the uh, 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 APNIC region. And another point, um, one uh, suggestion uh, is that you know we had a lot of fantastic presentation from the the NIRs. Then uh, I, I'd like to have the comparative analysis, like uh, for example, the member count and uh, the others holding the activity. So we, uh, if we, if NIRC people uh, successfully set some index and the point of the statistics, then the comparing it would be uh, quite informative if, if you can do additional job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inputs. 
we will consider while preparing the next uh, agenda. Okay, uh, there is uh, already the overtime, so <laughs> do you have any other business? Uh, okay, and uh, let's conclude the, this session. So the, uh, thank you for participating to the oh. NIOC. Uh, it seems uh, a lot of people coming here. I appreciate for that. So we'll see you next time in Oakland, New Zealand, uh, in next March. Thank you very much. Uh, I call you the old presenter. Please come here, the, uh, taking the group fourth session. Please, thank you.